Okay, this how to video is going to show you how to use the segment over void detection command inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So there might be maybe instances where you've got uh, lots and lots of tracking, you've got some copper planes and you want to make sure that the uh, the copper tracking is directly covered by a plane uh, which can help improve your uh, impedance performance of the PCB. Uh, so the uh, segment uh, the segment over void detection is a good way to, to check for this. So uh, I've got a completed PCB here. If I literally just go to the display menu, segment over voids, and I've got an option to highlight or de-highlight. So we'll click on highlight first, and it will then highlight all the objects. So what I would suggest you do is then zoom in, and you can then just select effectively the tracks that are causing the issues, and it will, it will zoom and center to where these issues are in the design. So if we look at the first one, it's, uh, it's obviously one of these nets on the top of the board, so we can maybe simplify the display, put the top on, put the corresponding plane with it, and you'll see straight away I've actually got a, a cutout in a copper plane in the plane below. This has probably happened from a, a revision in the board design, and maybe I had a cutout there for some specific reason, but I don't need that there now, and that's obviously causing me issues here. So what I could use there is use the shape, um, manual isolation or cavity command and delete, pick the shape, pick the voids, that gets rid of those and then if we run the command again so we'll literally just run the display segment over void de-highlight segment over void highlight I'm not getting the highlight on these nets anymore so I then have to go and to move to the next object similar kind of scenario so it's a matter of kind of just working through the list to get rid of any issues that you might see we might have some issues where effectively you might have a, a, a copper track just just cutting over a plane something like that Th that will also report this type of issue as well so you might need to make the voiding maybe a bit smaller or we'll just move the tracking away from the voice to make sure you get a good good cl clearance from the anti-pad there is also um, a display segment over void de highlight which actually remove all the highlighting as well which can be a really useful feature when you're using this command